I resigned today. Hello everybody, welcome. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tina, I'm the Teacup Teacher. If you're not new here, hi, it's been long time no talk. I have had so many messages and comments and things from people reaching out to ask where I've been and I'm finally at a point where I am ready to talk, fill you guys in. Uh, things have been crazy lately. So if you're interested in where I've been, feel free to keep watching. If not, hi, it's nice to see you and goodbye. Yeah, where have I been? Um, that is a loaded question. I have been up to a lot of things, some good, some not so good. Uh, but I just want to first say to everybody that has reached out, hi. Um, I apologize that I have not gotten back to anybody. I completely signed out of anything that had to do with my teaching, like YouTube and Instagram, all of that. Completely logged out. Uh, once I get more into this, the reason behind that will make a lot more sense. Um, just bear with me. It's me. A lot of talking. Well, I'm just going to be like a chatty Kathy or like a Tina talk. Tina talk. I like that. Um, it's just going to be a chatty type of vlog. So just buckle your seatbelt, uh, hit pause, go get a drink and then come back. Uh, so yeah, first things first, if you watched my vlogs earlier this school year, you know that, uh, I was in grad school. Uh, I was taking a learning and technology program through Western Governors University and I did finally graduate. My degree end date, so I started July 1st and I completely finished December 1st uh, was the day that I, they emailed me and said, hey, you are officially done. So technically I did it in like five months and a day, um, but I did take a week off for my birthday. I took off a week at the start of the term uh, in order to go to New Jersey. I took a week off to set up my new classroom and I took a week off to enjoy um, Halloween and just kind of like fall things. So still finished in five months with a lot of downtime. So it's definitely doable. Um, I love writing papers so it was just right up my alley. But regardless, like whether I'm good at it and I enjoy it, it's still a ton of work. At work, I literally like hibernated in my classroom and wrote papers during every lunch that I didn't have prep. It feels good, but it took a lot out of me. And so I now am, I have my master's. I'm 12 credits through another one. So one more class and I will have a master's and a half, which is very exciting considering that it took me seven years to finish undergrad because I was an idiot and completely screwed around with school. So lesson learned. Additionally, on a happier note, if you have followed me for a while, you know that I've always kind of done photography on this side and I'm excited to announce that I have really been putting a lot more time and effort into my photography business and it took off in the fall. Oh my word. Uh, between November and December, I did not have a weekend off. Uh, I'm now starting to get inquiries for weddings and things, which is just so crazy to me. Uh, but I started out in landscape when I was younger. I second shot a couple weddings for uh, my dad. My dad did weddings. Um, I also just ate my hair. <laughs> um, I then, when I rescued my dog Cam, which has got today, his I got him eight years ago yesterday, which is crazy. Uh, when I got Cam, I ended up doing a lot of dog pictures naturally because I love taking pictures of like literally anything and everything. So pet portraits then kind of started to branch out into people between my sister and Dusty really pushing me to be like, hey, you have talent, you are sitting on a landmine, like you need to get your name out there and that's what I've been doing. So things are going really well. The photography was taking off uh, at a point where I mentally was in a really hard place. So the not so yay and happy part of where I've been, uh, I, almost resigned from my job in like October, November. I was so miserable with my current district that I, I don't even know how to explain it. I was just depressed and I hated everything. I was not going to the gym. Uh, it was affecting my personal relationships. It was affecting my sleep and my health. Like I still have, a lot of acne scarring in here just from stress and anxiety. 
uh, I would get to work and sit in my car for like 10, 15 minutes trying to convince myself to get out and go inside. Um, and I've never felt that way. I have been the person who happily and willingly gets to work at 645 because I enjoy being there. I enjoy doing things for my kids and I don't have that joy this year. Uh, I don't know if it's COVID taking a toll or if it was just the wrong district, uh, but that joy and that passion just gone, donezo this year. Uh, to the point where over Christmas break, I was applying for ed tech positions. Being that my master's is now in learning and technology, like getting into an instructional design program or like a curriculum company like Savas or Pearson or something like that was so exciting to me. A lot of them were and still are remote positions. Uh, so I spent my entire Christmas break applying for jobs outside of teaching. I was just miserable. I was like literally almost in tears when it came time to go back to school and I've never felt that way. Five years of teaching, I've never dreaded going back to work. This year was completely different and taking a step back over break, uh, are there things in teaching I don't love? Absolutely. Uh, especially now with COVID and just the way teachers are treated. But more so in my current district. Um, in my district, we work until five o'clock on Wednesdays. Read, read the room um, for PLCs. The first two weeks are building based. They're basically faculty meetings. The second two weeks, one's an early release and one is a Google Meet. You meet with your grade level team to write curriculum because they don't offer any curriculum or guidance. So it's just been really hard because I don't have time. I'm at work until four, I have a 25 minute drive. And by the time I get home, with the behaviors that I have all day long, I am too tired to edit a vlog and post anything. And it's just, oh my God, it was draining. I've never been this tired during a school year. I've never been this anxious. I've never been this stressed. I've never had acne like this. Like I've always had hormonal acne up in here, but this is 100% just stress. So with that being said, I resigned today. On December 7th, I was at work and my phone started blowing up and it was all a bunch of old coworkers and friends that still work in my old district saying, hey, a position just opened and you need to apply. I applied for shits and giggles because I've always wanted to be back in that district since I moved back here. I loved my old district. You know, every district has its issues, but Overall, they really, their core values and beliefs really aligned with mine more than um, other districts that I've worked for. So I applied, again, that was on December 7th. Principal emailed me back, said, hey, great to hear from you. I'll be in touch. I didn't hear anything. Um, I followed up about a month later and was like, hey, like, has there been any consideration for um, selecting a candidate, et cetera? and wrote me back, said, hey, things are moving a little bit slowly, but we'll get back to you. Early February, I was driving to a dentist appointment and I got a phone call. I ended up taking a personal day that day, well, a sick day, because I had to go get Novocaine. Um, and they were like, he's like, hey, I know it's really short notice, but can you interview? So I ended up going to the dentist, getting Novocaine on the right side of my face, top and bottom, and then they had to use, I think it's called Oriverse. Which I didn't know existed until I asked. I said, hey, I have an interview. Like, is there any way to speed this up? So they ended up giving me stuff to reverse the effects of Novocaine so that I could go home and interview. Went home, interviewed. I emailed a thank you email the next day. He said, thank you. It was great to work and talk with you, etc." Never heard anything back after that. So I just assumed they went with another candidate. Like, I felt that it was one of my best interviews ever. Um, we just kind of all vibed. I was with the whole upper elementary team. I know a lot of them from having worked in the district and all those things. I didn't hear anything back after that. So I just assumed that, you know, they went with someone else. That's fine. They have options. So fast forward two and a half weeks or so. Um, it was the Thursday before February break. I was actually packing up the car. I took a personal day that Friday. I was packing up the car with Dusty and my phone started ringing and I looked at him and I said, this is the call. I know it in my gut, this is the call. And of course, the one time my phone's not attached to my hip, it was the call. I did find my phone in time and they offered me the position. I have to then meet with the superintendent. I was supposed to meet with the superintendent last week, 
the day of ended up being like almost a statewide snow day. So we rescheduled for yesterday. So I met with the superintendent yesterday and it was barely an interview because I've been through this process with him before. I worked for them for a couple of years. Um, we just kind of caught up talked about you know me having a master's being halfway through another program he asked me when i planned on resigning and i said i haven't yet i was just gonna wait for board approval that way things are more official and he's like well our board meeting is tomorrow so if i were you i would let them know tomorrow so i resigned today uh i have mixed feelings about it this is something that i needed for my mental health i feel relieved i feel really bad about leaving my my principal, I love him and he's amazing. He's so supportive and encouraging and just real, like tells it how it is and I love that. Really sad to leave him and I'm really sad to leave mid-year. I don't wanna let my students and their families down but I need to do this for me. Tomorrow I'm supposed to let the teachers know. I'm pretty sure they all already know because nobody talked to me today. And when I walked into the teacher's room it was complete and utter silence for like the first 10 seconds. So it's obvious. But I'm going to be professional about it and I'm going to say, hey, I took another job and that's that. So I don't have like an end date. I, I'm excited. I will be working half a mile from home and I will get out of work 25 minutes earlier, which will allow me to be home an hour earlier, two hours earlier on Wednesdays. So I feel like I just, I can breathe again. I feel like... I feel like I'm gonna find my love for teaching again because I 100% lost my love of teaching this year and I don't like that. I cannot be at a place that makes me feel that way. I love what I do. I believe that teaching is what I was called to do and I am so upset with myself for allowing a place of employment to make me feel that maybe I was wrong in that decision. So that is where i've been if you guys have ever left a position mid-year let me know in the comments down below that i'm not alone because i feel so guilty but this is what i needed to do for me in order to be the best version of myself and the best teacher for my students wherever those students are so that is my life update again drop it in the comments down below if you've ever resigned mid-year please let me know that i'm not alone if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one when I am breaking down my current classroom and setting up my new one.